Hello my friends, welcome to Natalia Lovecraft Forever with you and today we have unboxing from GBFKE OMG look at this pile of goodies now in the, what I order also even put more few gifts into my packages so I'm really really thankful to the owner of this website thank you so much and I'm not gonna mention which one whatever um, that was an extra but I want to do um, there's something very very interesting that I wanted to see how this gonna work this is amazing tool we're gonna review today um, then we have another 3d box we will open today then there is amazing spools if you like embroidery or cross stitching you love to do something with the needle or threads oh my goodness you have to watch this video so we're gonna check them today and also i have in here another uh, five small canvases and three big ones so we will open uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe this two little one and one, two, three, four, five, six. We will open next time. Okay. So we're going to leave those big canvases or oh, maybe, hold on, maybe I'm going to switch one small canvas in here too kind of like a medium size and then we're gonna have one two three four no three four five and well let's see let's see how this is gonna go so we will have a part number one and part number two so it depends how long video will be we will see if we can open a little bit more or not First, what I want to see is this amazing tool that I saw on a website. So uh, sometimes on a website, it's hard to recognize what that exactly made of. So originally I thought this is plastic, but it's not. If you saw this tool already, then you probably wonder as well what this could be and how this work. So here it is. This is actually like this is a regular trays. You can pull them out and that's the tray that you receive in all the time with your diamond paintings. Uh, now I wonder if this piece coming out. It's kind of like a little elephant cut out. Maybe, I don't know. Can we see there? I wonder if this little piece you can pull out some kind of like a or maybe this is just like a half cut so it stays there so here's the slots for the trays and then you have around uh, maybe for your balls with diamonds and this holes for your tools so this is such a cool um, setup and you see this is material like the foamy thing that I have on my table so basically it's this is how it's made stuck on top of each other pre-cut so we're gonna put trays back in here they sit nice and tight it's a little bit warped from ship uh, from shipping kind of it's almost straight a little bit bended if you can see yeah like a little bit like a curve from shape of the diamond paintings uh, canvases so i have to put this like under something heavy to make a flat but it's not bad already so we put diamonds in here trays they go nice and tight and snuggle so it's not gonna come out easy and i brought with me my tools in here so let's see what we can do maybe in here we can place wax for example let me lean a little bit more close and then let's see what kind of tools we can fit in here 
and have this gonna stay. There's a different um, different size if you can look in here. I think in this one even tweezers maybe could stay or pen will fit. We will examine everything. Okay, there's a wax in here. Okay. Okay, a pen can stay as well like this or uh -huh, definitely here something bigger need to stay. So pen like this, if you have a one placer, it will fit in here. For example, my another, there's a different sizes, they can stay here. If you have, what else in here? If you have a pen that doesn't have maybe end, right? So let's see. This pen can stay like upside down. Uh, trip laser not gonna stay there because it doesn't really fit properly. So the tweezers, for example, let's see. We can fit tweezer in here. Yes. So it's pretty cool. Uh, if you don't have a one edge fill and you have like a trip laser. Um, straightener tool just without this piece and just put them all in here like for example like this one upside down or we can just try it for example let's just unplug one side like this right and then you put in here to the smaller there's different sizes in here of those holes and then you have a setup like this I think it's pretty cool and then you put your diamonds color maybe and if you have a confetti area on your diamond painting definitely will work to that's just interesting so we will try this we will try this with you this is interesting setup and i will try so you know sometimes the uh, drilling pan could be like a very very chubby could fit probably in those bigger holes or different tools it doesn't have to be specific for diamond painting tools it could be for your brushes if you're a painter um, for kids for the pen and pencils so many different uses for this one I really like it so um, I you know it's actually nice it's a soft material but uh, by looking on the website, I don't remember if there's anything stated there that this is uh, like a foam material and not a plastic. I thought it's a plastic, but now I think it's even better that it's not plastic because if plastic, this trace would become out slight easy. This time you see how it's sitting tight up there. I can pull it out to like really kind of like a force it so it go sit nice and tight inside of those grooves. Awesome. Thank you so much for this tool. We will try to work on them. When we're gonna do with you something like a confetti area on some of the diamond painting. That's wonderful. Okay, four trays for the tools and your diamond painting. Gems may be in here or something. Wonderful. And now I wanna see this part. This is so gorgeous, okay. Originally, I thought, I didn't really pay attention, kind of like a sizing, um, because usually when I buy spools of threads, they usually like, like small. And when I open my bag, not open bag, it's like a try through the bag with the spool, so it's like, whoa, something really big because I didn't know first from who till I kind of grabbed this pool in my hand through the bag and I recognized that this is going to be threads. Now, what kind of threads this is? It's such a beautiful threads. This one is gold. And look how big this pool towards my hand. Okay. So as the silver, silver feel like it's even heavier and a little bit maybe bigger. Or maybe it's a thread wind a little bit less soft in here on this one more sturdy feels like it's harder and a little bit softer and to be honest I um, 
kind of didn't want it to open but to make a proper review I'm gonna open this plastic and sorry for the squeaks okay maybe just a halfway halfway so it's kind of like a holding in here the most important thing that I want to see I have in here this thread okay how much we're gonna see hold on I'm gonna put on my hand somehow it's a gold one and on camera right now look almost like a green but this is gold gold uh, hopefully in the video it will show you the true color but this is gold thread and what I was thinking I do lots of cross stitching now and sometimes you need to do uh, metallic embellishments especially if you will have uh, Christmas canvases with the silver you can create like a snowflakes some embellishments on people clothes outline something and that's what I wanted to try the threads now I want to see how strong this thread is so I'm gonna pull it and see how easy it breaks or not and especially if you are doing a machine embroidery this is amazing to create some logos so let me see if I can break it easy no I'm gonna cut my skin if I gonna force it so this is really really strong thread and it's beautiful um, yeah so now this one is silver same thing let's see the quality this one's the same I just want to try the open where I can see the thread hanging somewhere here or not. Where is the piece? Oh, right in here. Oh, that's from another. Uh, this one is from the bottom. But here is the thread. Okay, this one is coming out. And we have a thread right in here. It's kind of like a tight and a knot up there, you can tell. And threads are beautiful, really beautiful. Yeah, same thing, really, really strong. So if you do lots of embroidery or something delicate stitching, look at this beautiful threads. And they have up there so many different colors Oh, you will love it and without link you're not gonna find it that's the thing I already asked I think twice them to create proper link or on the top of the website to create um, special like to add this dress to embroidery site or where is the cross stitching uh, because I look and you can really find it till you google out there so follow my link and you will find lots of lots of colors up there uh, I was just really surprised by the size of the spools because I thought it's going to be like just a tiny spools and the price is really good for this size especially of metallic gold and silver threads so I really would love to have some other colors as well Wow, this is gorgeous. I really, really love this product. Now, uh, one more of the organizers that I plan to redo my craft room. I'm really hoping to get to a Kia store to get some new organizing storage solution. And that's what these containers will be handy to store some beautiful product inside of them so this is the box white like um almost like a leather beautiful stitches up there the bottom is black and 
There's, let's see, this part go down. It's very deep. Look at that, very deep. Oh, here is our symbols for the pattern. And, oh, it smells so good. When it's new, it's like a new car. When you sit in a new car, that's what smell, like a new leather or something. Really beautiful and very tacky glue in here. Oh, I'm um, breaking. Oh, okay, I see. Um, this side and the other side, the plastic got stitched into the creases from both sides. So I just have to very carefully uh, open this one later on. Now we have in here 11 colors. And we have a tool in here. Okay, excuse this wax got squished. So we have a plastic tweezers in here. Plastic. And that's what I was talking about, you know, this tools like this, the pen where you have. So you can place a whole bunch of and put put into this container like like so. You can if you have a different colors, that would be beautiful, right? And we have in here this plastic, very cheap tweezer, so you can really it's not good quality at all. You can really pick with them nothing because they barely open. So usually you can just toss them out and find the one, the metal one, good one. Um, but if you don't have any, this can do some work probably. Now here's the design if to show you close mandala. I love mandalas. Looks like the symbols up there. There's not much to drill, but a beautiful image itself so who like to work with sparkles gems this is project like for an hour or two and then of course let's check out our beautiful diamonds and see if we have everything in here Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so let's see the diamonds. Oh, we have so many varieties in here. So many different diamonds. Let me zoom close to me. So we have in here gold glass diamonds. We have AB diamonds. A B diamonds. Can we see it? Okay, hold on. Let me find the angle for the camera. A B. Then we have big like peacock color gems. Then tiny gold teardrops. Then another peacock, different a little bit. This one like a clear, like a AB, and this one more to the shift of the green and blue and purple. Oh, it's so beautiful, so beautiful. And then we have orange one like this. Then more on a red kind of side. Wow, diamonds in here, really beautiful. And then, oh, different diamonds escape in here but this one okay so the clear side it's the side that will go into the glue so these diamonds are gold that's your top of the diamonds gold and it's clear glass go into the canvas wow this one is really beautiful I did something with this kind of shape already or that was in my mm, some kind of maybe book I don't know 
but I already have a few of these leftovers and they are really beautiful on the canvas because they are big size and they are so sparkle. What a gorgeous gems, this one. And then we have clear, clear shape of the, what's the shape, like a leaf? How would you call it? Oval, what's the shape? And same shape, but purple colors. Wow, I think from all of this is like, um, this one is my favorite. And I really love this kind of colors as well. Uh, this project is going to be so beautiful. Wow. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay, let's put this aside. And we're going to start to open up some diamond paintings. And I'm going to start with a little one. I'm not sure what's in here. But I know there will be some surprise in here. Let's see. Can't remember. Looks something really tiny. Okay, so this tulip, tulip flower. And I order few of them so I guess the other one we will open uh, maybe next time let me see if they have like a number on it or maybe maybe we can open all of them like this no not going to be the same uh, maybe this one's the same just a minute hmm okay never mind whatever is uh, left we will open in next one because i remember that it's going to be another flower similar to this one and it's so static just sticking into my uh, cover the tulips i used to maybe like three years ago i made tulips in three panels tulips I think and this is kind of remind me of that canvas but this one separate different colors and I just love flowers and this panel kind of long but skinny so this is really easy to work on and size in here 25 by 45 centimeters we do not have DMC code in here And what else in here? The canvas in here is really beautiful and clean. And it's sticky. Very nice and sticky. Just checking the glue all the way around. I can see in here around. No, the glue is beautiful. And I'm just going to show you how clean uh, of the print. Print is really nice. For example, here is the uh, darker side. Sorry for the reflection of my chandelier. This way, you, you can see how clean that is. And if I can show you, okay, let me just straighten up a little bit and get this air bubbles trapped there. And on a light area, you also can see how nice and clean so it's going to be beautiful diamond painting of the flower if you love flowers and i do love flowers because flowers everywhere with me right so we have in here 22 colors and let me open diamonds So we need a 22, I have here 21, 22, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes, all colors in here and we're just going to start with this too. Beautiful colors. 
And then we have, I'm just gonna bring it close or maybe I will bring to me a little bit so I don't have to stretch too much. Here's the colors and diamonds for this. Looks nice and clean, don't you think? Well, here gray one you can see very well. I think they are perfect. Beautiful colors, beautiful diamonds. Wow, nice, so bright. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now if you didn't see my canvases that I finished already from GBFKE, please check it out and even in video just the other day we did some uh, party when Catherine started a new video from GBFKE this bunny or rabbit that one was beautiful so she organized and she will start on this diamond painting soon okay this is beautiful I love it this is such a beautiful unboxing today and then we're gonna have one more little bit bigger canvas for today and the rest of the canvases we will see in a few days from now and don't worry about i just want to give a reminder uh, i did not contact anyone yet about giveaway winners so don't worry if you do not receive any notification yet. I'm still reading your comments. There's lots of comments to read, so I need the time to to read them all. So I will need a few few days. Now the flowers, the flowers. I cannot have enough flowers, and this is, looks like a beautiful, beautiful, good size canvas, 40 by 60. The only I will say, how's the other canvas? Hold on. No, the other canvas is a little bit thicker. And this one is really, really thin. It's almost like a fabric, very, very thin. So it's lined up on a table already, nice and flat. So let's open the whole thing. Oh, yeah, yo, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. And we have a regular kit with this one round diamonds as well and again no DMC code anywhere in here wow some of you asked me on a Facebook to, to review my diamond painting roses or bouquet of flowers in a vase that I unboxed a long time ago but because that company do not exist anymore so that's why kind of I did not review and do work in progress on a camera yet but now instead of that I decided to pick this one bouquet flowers in a vase and this is looks like really gorgeous one so instead of that one I would love to create maybe this one so you can see how it's look like Maybe I will start like from this rose, for example, this corner, and then we will see how the first flower look like and see if you like it. But definitely gorgeous canvas. And here you go, here's your confetti area right in here, where you can use that tool that we just opened today. And to show you the confetti, here it is closed up. Look at the, how much um, color changing up there. So that tool set up will be perfect for this spot. And looks like this is gonna be very good visibility of the, all the details because the size. You already see how beautiful this look like. You can see the flowers petals falling in here. Uh, let me just look preview. Yeah. Yes, beautiful background. This 
way we go so the canvas is not showing very well so let me stretch it and show you this way Opa. sorry for touching the tripod very beautiful wow such a gorgeous canvas what do you think oh i think lots of you are gonna love this one now dark area even dark area is really beautiful print on a canvas let me show you by opening a little bit for example in here oh very static i have to hold this it doesn't flip accidentally on me on another side i will really oh just wants to go another side why is it so static i don't understand from being in a bag okay so here's the dark area those browns you see how clear okay let me okay i think you see it i'm impressed i'm impressed in here and now what i will see is usually i'm just gonna check if we have a glue everywhere because lately factory goes so trying to be perfect in a line that sometimes lines get missing right so i want to check this one as well from each corner no it's perfect i think that was just accidentally i received before canvas they got a little bit glue not touch i don't believe that will be like all canvases of the same kind it just some canvas got a little bit miss by a few millimeters wow this is stunning so now let's check diamonds if we have everything in here we need a 22 here's the 22 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oh, 17 and 19, so beautiful, let's check first this one, three colors, that's already separated, nice, and then let's start with this pretty one. Love this one color. And then this baby pink. Oh, I love it so much. So beautiful, so beautiful. Okay, okay this way. Trying to get the glare out the camera I'm sitting right under the light so that's why it's difficult to show stuff when it has a clear sheet over diamonds are gorgeous in here for all those flowers lots of shades of red greens probably for the background and leaves a little bit in here Another beautiful color, black, wow, I love it so much, this is so beautiful and I'm just so tempted to open one more canvas, should we, should we pick one more little one, maybe, let's pick one more little one. Because I feel like we need to see one more and maybe it's going to be another canvas that I can pair up with the, the one that we already opened. But let's try if this is the one. Where is the bed? Okay. Okay. We're going to have enough of canvases open for next time as well. So let's just get one more. 
and I think it's the one that I waited for let's see let's see yes okay so here it is here is the other tulip that I wanted to create few of them and they will be nice complement each other on a wall so let me pull out this one and show you them together okay if you can see like this look how beautiful they are a watercolor kind of right I think it's a watercolor tulips and they look beautiful together and I think there's maybe even one more of this I have in here I should open all of them together but that's okay we will open another one in next video I think there's one more tulip should be here uh, unless I'm mistaken so again um, it's a not well this one have a glitter is the other one has a glitter doesn't look like it is it yeah I can see some speck no very little but this one maybe it's a new print because I see lots of glitters on this one and here it is this one is 21 color and there another gorgeous tulip I love the color in here of this flower and here is the print of the canvas gorgeous flowers look at that almost like a similarity of the uh, color pattern from my peony flowers in here on the table we have a kit with few bags and let's check diamonds for this one wow what what was your favorite project not project canvas or 3d stuff or the threads what was your favorite from today's unboxing i really love those threads of oh, the threads those flowers canvas are so beautiful okay let me quickly all these numbers are so big in here you can see from far 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 2021. Yep, everything here. And we're gonna check colors for this one as well. Let me get you to me. I keep forgetting, keep stretching myself to the camera. If I can just bring you close to me. Yeah, this canvases will be fun to work on it because they are tiny. Uh, they both 25 by 45, the whole canvas. So it's really a printed area. It's only 20 by 40. And around di diamonds usually fast to do. So it's like two, three days work if you work in many hours if you don't go on over this time this year and staying home a lot you have nothing to do no little kids and you just like the diamond paint this is kind of project that you can work on and enjoy so i really really love these flowers they are gorgeous so i'm just gonna put them in here together for you to see see when you frame them together in a separate frame or even cut white piece off and put them in one frame that will be beautiful as well and I think in my next unboxing we will see one more flower because there's a very similar package in here but I'm not gonna open I'm not gonna attempt <laughs> we will open next time so yes let me know what was your favorite thing in here did you create any of this storages yet and what do you think about this tool do you think it will be interesting to work on it and how about don't forget our gorgeous 
flower canvas. Oh, everything is so beautiful, right? I am really happy with everything. Nothing got damaged. And as I said before, this has got me by surprise because the size of this can uh, of this threads are so big. So because I already ripped the thread to sh I mean ripped the plastic to show you how they look like, I will place them into the Ziploc bags to keep threads not to unwind and keep them nice and clean or if you have some kind of storage solution they can stay like this oh i just love it and you should check the colors they have up there like a burgundy and oh my it just so many different varieties and i really impressed i love it that it's actually really strong uh, maybe it's a long thread maybe easy to break but if i pull very hard this one it doesn't break easy it means it will be a gorgeous thing to do embroidery with or little details and a cross stitching i love it and i definitely will try something to do with it thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next video unboxing or maybe whip and chat stay safe be happy, diamond paint away, and I will see you next time.